Hi guys, welcome to the Balance Debrief, bringing you the top stories from social media and marketing. This week, there's a new viral video app, an unlikely Instagram star, Facebook puts data back in the hands of users, Pinterest has an AR ad feature, and we take a sneak peek at the Super Bowl ads. First up, there's a new video sharing app in town and it's being billed as a rival for TikTok. Byte lets users share and post six second video clips and it's already been downloaded more than a million times. There have been lots of comparisons to Vine and it's easy to see why. Not only because of its format, but because it's being led by one of Vine's co-founders, Don Hoffman. Could it compete with TikTok? Well, it has a little way to go. While Byte was downloaded 700,000 times over the weekend, TikTok was downloaded 8.2 million times. A New Yorker who holds up cardboard signs has become an Instagram star. Google the sign has over 4 million Instagram followers, despite only being around for 4 months. No doubt you'll have seen one of these deadpan signs doing the rounds. They've been shared plenty on social media. This week, Forbes published an interview with him. It explained that last October, Seth Jacobs, the man with the sign, and Jerry Media's founder, took to the streets of New York City to hold a cardboard sign with a simple protest, stop replying all to company-wide emails, and the rest was history. Mark Zuckerberg announced this week that a new privacy tool called Off Facebook Activity is now available around the globe. With this tool, Facebook will tell us about the data it had stored on us, shared by third-party businesses. Things like our purchase history, which Facebook uses to show us targeted ads. They're now giving us the option to review this information they have and delete it from our Facebook account. In other Facebook news, their Q4 performance update revealed that they had climbed to a new milestone with 2.5 billion monthly active users. Pinterest has launched a new augmented reality try-on feature, which gives users an idea of what certain lipsticks might look like on them. Once you find a shade that suits, Pinterest highlights relevant product pins for that colour. The Try Before You Buy feature is very similar to YouTube's AR try-on ad units, which uses a split screen to show users what they might look like wearing makeup, which is being discussed in the video above. One of advertising's biggest days of the year is just around the corner, the US Super Bowl. Brands are dropping teasers left, right and centre and there are a lot of celebrity cameos, including Chris Rock for Facebook, Jonathan Van Ness for Pop Tarts and MC Hammer for Cheetos. Advertisers are known for bringing their A-game when it comes to the Super Bowl, but it doesn't come cheap. A 30 second ad slot can set them back $5 million. We'll have to wait till Monday to see them.